Now, this is a slide which gives you comprehensive knowledge about elasticity of demand. Assume this to be a scale. Starting with zero, going up till infinity. And if I were to place the numerical on this, we know that elasticity of demand is calculated as percentage change in quantity upon percentage change in price. But when I say that the demand is perfectly inelastic, by this I imply that the price is changing but demand is not changing. Quantity demanded is not changed. That is, the change in quantity demanded is equal to zero. Now, any number, zero divided by any number will always be equal to zero. So, the numerical value for elasticity of demand when it is perfectly inelastic will always be zero because the numerator here is zero. Please remember the elasticity of demand in case of perfectly inelastic demand is always zero. What would be the case when I tell you the demand is relatively inelastic? Now in case of relatively inelastic demand, the demand shows a change. A change because of a change in price. But what happens is a bigger change in price brings about a smaller change in demand. A bigger change in price brings about a smaller change in demand. That means percentage change in quantity is less than percentage change in price. In other words, numerator is less than the denominator. In this case, your answer always will be between 0 and 1. The elasticity of demand in case of, of in case of relatively inelastic demand will always be a numerical between 0 and 1 because here the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So we get the numerical which is less than 1 or between 0 and 1. How does the curve look on the graph? It is a steeper curve. It has more tendencies towards y-axis. It is not perfectly parallel to y-axis as in the case of perfect inelasticity. But it is tilted slightly towards y-axis. It is tilted slightly towards y-axis. But the tilt is steeper. The slope is steeper in this case. Now let's come to unitary elasticity. Unitary elasticity as I've already explained you means the elasticity of demand where the numerical value of demand, uh, the numerical value of elasticity of demand is 1. It also implies a change in price brings about a proportionate change in demand. That is, the percentage change in price is equal to percentage change in demand. Which means the denominator is equal to the numerator. You will always get the answer as 1. But 
how does the curve look on a graph when the elasticity of demand is unitary elasticity it is an evenly tilted an evenly tilted demand curve it is not tilted towards the y axis nor is it tilted towards the x axis it is perfectly diagonal to the axis so when the curve is evenly tilted we call it as unitary elasticity of demand what is relative elasticity of demand relative elasticity of demand we know that a smaller change in price brings about a bigger change in demand which means that percentage change in quantity demanded is bigger than percentage change in price which means denominator is bigger sorry which means numerator is bigger than the denominator and whenever you divide two numbers where the numerator is bigger than the denominator you will always get an answer which will be more than 1 you will always get an answer which will be more than 1 or in other words we can say it will always be between 1 and infinity the range of relative elasticity of demand in terms of numericals is between 1 and infinity it can be anywhere between 1 and infinity you can get any numerical so finally let's understand what is perfectly elastic demand now what do you mean by perfectly elastic demand perfectly elastic demand means no change in price brings about a change in demand that is the price is not changing we already learned that when the demand is perfectly elastic to price we get a curve which is parallel to x axis parallel to x axis but what will be the numerical in this case the numerical in this case will be infinity why because percentage change in price here is zero the price is not at all changing so the percentage change in price would be zero any number divided by zero is always infinity so the numerical here would be infinity in case of relatively elastic demand please note that the curve is flatter it is not steeper as in the case of relative inelastic demand in case of relatively elastic demand the curve is flatter it is tilted more towards the x axis so the curve slopes lesser than the curve sloping in the relatively inelastic curve now in these five cases please bear in mind that the curve is getting flatter and flatter the curve is get, getting flatter and flatter as we move from perfectly inelastic to perfectly elastic in case of perfectly inelastic the curve is perfectly parallel to y axis it is perfectly parallel to y axis it is vertical however in case of relatively inelastic demand the curve is steeper the curve tends to tilt but it is steeper it has tendencies towards y axis it is steeper however in case of unitary elasticity the curve is evenly balanced it is not biased to y axis nor it is biased towards x axis it is evenly balanced diagonal to both the axis 
in case of relatively elastic the curve is flatter it has tendencies towards the x axis it is tilted more towards the x axis so we call this curve as a flatter demand curve however in case of perfectly elastic demand the curve is again perfectly diagonal to the x axis this is my x axis and this is my demand curve the demand curve is perfectly parallel to the x axis